questions, which is the theme of the event. We've got 33 journalists registered to cover the event, uh, including those from the Financial Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Guardian, the London Evening Standard, The Economist, BBC, Reuters, Bloomberg, Private Eye magazine, BuzzFeed, Le Monde in France, uh, Frankfurter Algemeen Zeitung from Germany, the Norwegian Business Daily, and the New Times in Moscow in Russia. All of the sessions are basically going to take place in this room. So it will be set up like this for the general sessions. So there are two general sessions this morning, and then we go into breakout sessions until the final session tomorrow afternoon. So um, for the, the concurrent sessions, there's going to be a dividing, there's a divider probably two thirds of the way along. So when there are concurrent sessions, there's going to be one session here. That divider over there is going to be drawn across. And the second concurrent session is going to be towards the back of the room. So, you know, everything is very handy in, in, in one area. Refreshment breaks are where you had coffee this morning. Uh, lunch uh, the, today and tomorrow will be uh, basically where you have breakfast in, in, the, in the hotel, that, that area, for those who've had breakfast. The Novello restaurant, which I think is on the first floor. And uh, tonight's cocktail reception is going to take place in the Sky Bar Lounge, which is at the top of the hotel and apparently has uh, spectacular views. Details about where everything uh, is taking place uh, are contained in a schedule that you should, should have received when picking up your name badges and your bags. And I also encourage everybody to use uh, our conference app Anyone with a mobile device uh, can download an app for free. This uh, Offshore Alert event app will uh, allow you to view the agenda, uh, a list of all attendees, and quite importantly, you can communicate. You can see a list of the attendees. If you want to arrange a meeting with somebody, uh, you can just directly communicate with them. It's, it's a very useful tool. We used it for the first time in Miami at our Miami event in May. Uh, you can upload photos. Uh, you can view photos. Uh, you can participate in polls. Uh, it, it significantly enhances uh, the experience. And every time you do something on the app, you are automatically receive points. And... At the end of the conference, we'll hold a raffle of the top 10 points uh, uh, leaders, and whoever wins the raffle will receive uh, a, a, an, a, an Apple Watch with the, uh, just like this one, with the magnetic strap. It's very nice. And I also have a second Apple Watch here that I'm going to give away right now um, to somebody whose name we, we raffled. Uh, is uh, Rachel Hankey here? You want to come up and... I like to get our events off to a good positive start. So uh, the Offshore Alert Conference, uh, it's about international financial intelligence and investigations with an emphasis on offshore financial centers, offshore financial centers being the bread and butter of everything Offshore Alert does, both on the news side and, and the conference side. And Offshore Alert is neither pro nor anti uh, offshore financial centers. The only reason uh, you know, I chose to cover 
offshore finance is because you need a niche. And I used to live in Bermuda, so I had some, some knowledge. But I'm an investigative journalist. I didn't choose offshore financial centers because there was any more or less you know, illegal activity taking place there than London or, or, or Wall Street or, or anywhere else. But I just needed a niche. So, you know, our sole aim is to provide credible, accurate, up-to-date, and useful information about different aspects of international finance. And you can take in that information, you know, run it through your own sort of bias systems, you know, and, and hopefully make better decisions based on the information that uh, our speakers will, will give you. You know, we're not here to moralize, which uh, very often happens with offshore centers. And I'm sure everyone living in an offshore center cringes uh, when they read continually the sort of stereotypical sort of nonsense uh, that, that's presented about them. Uh, almost every time a major news organization you know, covers the subject matter. I want to thank our sponsors, Astigaraga Davis. Martin Kenny and Co., Burford Capital, Freeborn and Peters, Goff Law, Baker and Partners, Bentham Europe, Farber Financial Group, Smith and Williamson, DQ Advocates, Harrod Associates, uh, ZENRS, and ACAMS.